with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? <laughs> that was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? What? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck? What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Answer me, bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here. But don't even play stupid with me. Oh, I'm shit. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! <laughs> Well, fuck, hey, man. Leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the bathroom. <sighs> what the shit? Max? Oh, damn. Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, I got this. Get in, Max. Oh, fuck. Get your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. That guy's a fucking psycho, I swear. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. Oh, shit, so yeah, I, I just realized. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend only took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Well, shit. <laughs> Not everything changes. Oh man. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. Yeah. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. 
My stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. Well, at least things seem cool between the two of them. All right, I wonder when this is gonna end here. I know it's not that very long. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> home shit home. <laughs> Oh, what an awesome description. Hold to another universe. That's cool. Think like a man. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. <laughs> Step your <hurt. laughs> Put on some music while I medicate. She doing? What? What's she doing? I have no idea. Where's the music? Where's the music? Is there like a speaker or something, or you want me to use your computer, or like, what you want me to do here, girlfriend? Hmm. Look at that high chart. Suck it. <laughs> I did the music on here, she I looks assume. Super happy. Not there. Oh, yep, she's doing drugs. Whoa, are those are like a zoomed in photo of her boobs right there? Like what the fuck? Look at the TV. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Oh, here's the box. It won't play without any power. Alright, so wait there's the power strip. Hey, cool! Alright! Now for them tunes. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. Alright, how are we gonna do that? Where the fuck is the music? Oh, she's got the posters. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Yeah. Wow. I think this junk swallowed her discs. <laughs> Damn. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything there. Okay. Uh, look at the trash can. There's a box there. Uh, can we talk to her? Because I don't want to just go through her shit. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? I don't feel grown-up. Just more confused as I get older. Especially after today. Gee, thanks. I was hoping to hear something positive. <laughs> about me? No, about me. Duh. I thought you'd at least be happy taking photos. Forget it. Oh, well, shit. Yeah, go back. So tell me, what if... I take photos. Of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. No. <laughs> I'll have to say, your friend is pretty hot there. <laughs> Whatever your name is. <laughs> well, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Yeah. <laughs> a postcard. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Huh. Interesting. They were friends then. Oh shit. Uh oh. Hey, you broke my glass snow down. Thanks. Don't worry, I went back. I, it's not broken. I'm gonna break it again though. <laughs> Dude, you broke my glass. No. Thanks. Didn't break it now. <laughs> Should I break it again? And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Ew. What does that say? Fuck off my head? What? Interesting. Apparently looking around doesn't have any consequences. Chloe totally changed her style. 
I barely recognized her. Well, five years is a really long time. A lot changes in five years, especially once you go from 13 to 18. Nothing Those beer bottles? This suitcase. Nah, I don't think so. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Wonder what happened to her real dad. Let's see if we can find any music here. Oh yeah, there we go. I figured it might be in that box, but I wasn't sure. Is that an old photo of her? I think so. Oh yeah, it's the photo of Oh wait, no. That's Rachel. Hey, give me that. Sorry. I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Huh. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, oh, shit. I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. Oh, 14. 14. We were best okay. friends. That's just in five years, though. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were going to kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. Huh. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. Yeah. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her I'm pretty since? sure it's that teacher. Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Fuck, man. That was some sad shit right there.